Holy cow, it's a nice day out. It's like 70 degrees and the sun is blasting out here. Oh, check it out. Here's a hamburger. Hold on. What? Anyway, I'm on my way down to the banana building now. I've been real, real, real busy lately doing all kinds of stuff, driving around the country and silly stuff like that. <clears throat> but some good, some good stuff. Maybe some really, really good stuff. Anyway, ooh, there's the banana building down there. Uh, I went running this morning and left the banana building garage door cracked, so hopefully some of this nice toasty warm air got in there. And with any luck, I'll be able to do some giant roboting today. I'm kind of eager to test my new little generator thing to see if I can weld with it. I'll have to see how that goes. Oh, I love this place in here. When I was a kid, like this is the like the workshop I imagined I might have. Anyway, my work table here has kind of been taken over by little robot production. Because I built a bunch of little robots for a toy guy who did some stuff and blah blah blah. And I have to keep my phone with me today in case he calls me asking any questions about the prototype robot toys, but that seems to be going really well. So I might have like I mean, if, if I'm lucky, I might have some robot funding. That would be awesome. But, now I have time to work on my giant robot. So oh, I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do next. But I think it might involve that little generator. Oh, I just realized that to get my whole welding generator operation going, I need these battery cables that are in the car. Uh, wasn't me. Um, anyway, when I went running this morning, if I thought about it, I would have ran to the car and got him and came back. But I think I'll just go get him now. It's such a nice day out. I'll go for another run. That away, like a mile. Oh, and I got some army boots at an army surplus store in Florida for 40 bucks. I like them. People have complained a lot that they're very uncomfortable, but I think it might be because I'm part ogre. They're they're great. I can go running in them and everything. Some pretty good cables. Thanks, Brian. Seriously, I've gotten so much cool stuff from people mailing it in. I wouldn't have gotten this far on the robot by now without all the super help from people. Thank you so much, people. All right, I should up and get back to work. I just need to take these cables, hook them up to my batteries and my generator, and blah blah. He even sent me the little connectors that go on the ends of the cables. That's awesome. I kind of left my wire cutters in a place where they got a bit moist so they sort of rusted very badly but I put a bit of oil in them and I just need to crank them back and forth a bunch of times give me a minute <laughs> next step remove the silly little wires that it like quadrupled to try to get enough wire thickness Alright, that's easy. These guys are easy. Oh, yeah, that stuff. Okay, now I could run a wire from this positive to this positive to that positive to the thing, but then the wire that's going through from here to there has to carry the electricity of all three batteries. Plus, if I have to work on any one, like say I have to work on this battery, I'll have to disconnect all of the other ones. So, <clears throat> I think I'm going to take a, bat a wire from here directly to where it's going to do the work, and then one from here directly to where it's doing the work, and one straight from here. That way, the power is spread out over more wires, so there should be less power loss not that there's gonna be much anyway it's only got like a foot and a half to go but also if I have to say work on this battery or take it out or something I don't have to disconnect everything else I can just disconnect this one battery take it out and do whatever I need to do never actually used these things before but I'm presuming I strip the plastic off the end of the wire stick it on here Oops. 
and then smoosh this somehow. Where's me hammer? Oh, this thing works good. Definitely sufficient crushing power. It's on there pretty good. Oh, now there's some good looking battery cables. All hooking into this mama jama. Now I've got this guy. And in case anyone missed it, it's an alternator connected to a two and a half horse, two and a half horsepower engine. And there's my batteries just on the other side of this little wall. And I figure anytime I'm using this, I'm probably gonna have the door open anyway. So maybe next winter I'll drill some holes in this to put the wire through. But for the summer, I'm just gonna put this over and connect it somehow. But first, I have to figure out how to make this not vibrate all over the place and start walking down the hill. And I think I've got an idea. Well, well, I know I have an idea, but no. They're strapped down to a pair of cinder blocks with a giant piece of vibration absorbing, absorbing rubbery foam in the middle. All right, let's test this out. Choke open, gas on, all right. And the little wires even reached in to grab onto the batteries. And that's, that's kind of it. I think I, while it's running right now, I'm just gonna plug in my welder and try it out. The belt is smoking. I may need to tighten it a wee bit. <laughs> Man, that's a good looking weld. Okay, it's not the perfect looking weld, but it looks like the heat like really sunk in. Cause you know how when you're welding, the metal gets really hot. You can kind of see through the metal and see how far in it's getting. I don't know if other people think that, but I feel like I can see through the metal and tell how deep the heat's going. And it looks like it went pretty deep and then if you check on the other side there's actually a bump it melted right through so that's that's, that's pretty good man that's awesome
Nice test.